you and I are very uniquely interesting creatures. We have been through a roller coaster of life that has presented us with various unpredictable events. And we are here today because we have survived all those events. We have gone through this roller coaster and we have come up in one piece. Well, some of us may be missing more pieces, but then again, we have survived. What we get out of this is that we are tough. Out of all the animals on the planet, human beings, they have what it takes to tough it up. My fellow survivors, contest master, what we have to get out of life is not just what you see around you. You have to face challenges to understand what your life is meant to be. I myself imagine life as this crazy mechanic who keeps throwing wrenches at your carefully laid out plans. He's sitting in a corner, all bored, chucking wrenches at people's lives and ruining their days. <laughs> my first wrench that I received you know, in my goals was when I was doing my ordinary level exams. Back then, I was very, very, very interested in technology. Every time a new phone came out, every time a new laptop, a new processor came out, I knew, I looked at all the articles and I knew about it. Knew enough to bother people into talking about things that they didn't want to talk about. So, at that point in my life, after I did my ordinary level exams, my father asked me, what do you want to be? And without any hesitation, I said, software engineer. At that point, I didn't know what a software engineer did. Well, I did know what he did, but I didn't know what you required to go there. So, after some time, at the middle of uh, IT diploma, I realized I couldn't do software engineering at all. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I tried so hard, but despite my interest, I couldn't catch up with, if, with all the things that my colleagues were doing. So this was when I developed a mindset, which interestingly enough, came to me in the form of a meme. Now this meme itself was inspired by one of Darwin's quotes. What Darwin said was, it's not the strongest, nor the most intelligent that survive, but the ones who are most responsive to change. Now this quote is improvise, adapt, and overcome. Following this quote, I went and talked to my parents. Now of course my father is really cool. So I told him that I couldn't do this anymore, and him, despite having paid a large amount of money, was surprisingly cool about it, thank God. He said, okay, fine, but now what do you want to do? I was lost. I did not know what to do. So I decided I was, at that point, I was fairly good in language, and I was good in history. So I decided to pick languages as a subject for my A-level streams. And then I moved on to my advanced levels. But this was not the answer that my father wanted. He wanted to know what I was going to do, not by what I was going to do for my A-levels. But at this point, I thought, what could I do with what I have? I thought to myself, okay, I had the ability to improvise. I could come up things from nothing. I could come up with things from nothing, things that didn't make sense, that things that didn't make sense. But however, then they were not lies, but then again, it was a sort of improvisation. So I figured I would be a lawyer. And then, the mechanic called life decides to throw a whole toolbox into the works. I did my advanced level examinations, and I got a decent result. To be honest, I think I got a good result. I got two Bs and one C. However, the examination department did not agree with me. <laughs> Neither did the law faculties of Sri Lanka. They did not let me enroll in any of their programs. However, my parents came to my rescue. I was facing two options. Either I would have to go abroad and pay an insane amount of money and work a lot of part-time jobs to do a degree, or I could just stay here and do a private degree. But then again, it was my parents' money, not mine. So my parents came to my rescue and they managed to enroll me into KDU. So you may think that was the hell all end all and my goals were on their way to being achieved. Wrong. <laughs> that was the start of my problems. 
So I end up in ANU. And so I came here to do law. Again, taking more inspiration and advice from another meme, I thought that university life was going to be easy because apparently in school we had the mindset that we were doing subjects that were not relevant or would not be of any use to us in our life. And when we go to university, we are going to do that something interesting and something we want. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I came to KD hoping to do law. And when I came here, there were 48 subjects related to law. There was commercial law, there was land law, there was all sorts of law. There was even space law. Who are we going to sue now? The aliens? <laughs> we have so many streams here. And it was very hard to come to a decision. So, Again, this was the third bridge that was thrown into my life. Why this mechanic called life? Now, I had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do. It was not until very recently, I spent two and a half years talking to various people, talking to my friends, talking to their parents, and coming to a decision which was that I wanted to do corporate law. Well, not because I was very interested in it, but because it pays there. So, but then again, I thought about it and it was something that would interest me. Now, what we have to understand from this is, life is not always easy. It's never going to be easy. You may have smooth running phases throughout life, but there's always going to be that mechanic waiting to throw a car in your works. So you have to always understand that you have to be ready to approach any unpredictable moment that would come across your life. So always be ready to improvise, adapt and overcome all your conditions.